If you're wanting to play video games online, there's a really important piece of the puzzle that can't be missed, your modem. Now, when you think about your modem, you're probably thinking about that big old box that sits in the lounge room and you pay really no attention to. It gives you the internet, so what else is there to know? Well, if you are thinking about playing video games online, knowing what your modem does, how it benefits, and how you can make it better your gaming experience is not a bad idea. Let's jump straight into it. Firstly, what exactly is a modem? Your modem is essentially a piece of hardware that helps bring your internet inside your home and it maintains a connection between your home and your internet service provider. It translates the information coming in from the internet into a language that your devices can understand and then essentially translates the information the devices are sending into a language that the internet can understand. You could kind of say it's like a data interpreter, but how does a modem impact your gaming experience? First of all, making sure that your modem is current, up to date and compatible with your internet connection is super important. This helps maintain the best speeds you can possibly get while also adding reliability to your connection. Should you have a modem that's unable to maintain the top speeds required, you may find that you're going to have more latency, more lag and more dropouts, which are not a fun time. You'll find that older modems Modems will run into more of these issues because the newer ones are built in such a way that they can handle these technological advances a lot easier. Now, when we are talking about networks and modems, a word you will find thrown around a lot is the word latency. It's super important to understand what latency is and how it can affect your gameplay because too much of it can cause a lot of issues. So latency is the time that it takes for the data to travel from your home network to the server that the information is sending to, and then for the server to process that data. So a gaming example of this would be when you press the trigger on your controller to take some shots at an enemy. The amount of time between you pressing the trigger, the information sending over the internet to the gaming servers and then the service registering that shot is essentially what latency is. You guys picking up what I'm putting down? So if there's too much time between your action and the response of the game, you'll find that the game is harder to play and will put you at a disadvantage. Now, does Wi-Fi or Ethernet give you less latency? Well, if we're generally speaking, connecting your PC or console through an Ethernet cable straight to your router is a more reliable way of internet connection. This is because there's less room for the signal to be lost as it's being transferred in an enclosed capacity. In the past, Wi-Fi has actually been seen as a less reliable method of connection due to the fact that it's not enclosed. This is because a Wi-Fi network runs through the air, which does cause issues with physical objects actually blocking connection between devices. This in turn can cause a weaker signal, which can increase the latency. That being said, Wi-Fi nowadays are actually getting more and more reliable with lower latency and some gamers actually opting to play on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connections come with two different frequencies that can affect your gaming experience. The first being a 2.4 gigahertz connection and the second being a five gigahertz connection. But why is there the need for two different frequencies? I'm so glad you asked. A 2.4 gigahertz connection, though it can be a little bit slower, actually reaches a further distance. But on the other hand, a 5 gigahertz connection is a lot faster, but covers a smaller area. A 5 gigahertz connection can also pass through physical objects a lot easier. You would typically find a 2.4 gigahertz connection used more with baby monitors, fridges, and smoke alarms. This is something to keep in mind because the more things you've got connected to the 2.4 gigahertz connection, whether it's in your home or your neighbors can cause some interference. My doorbell's on the 2.4 gigahertz connection, and I believe next door is as well, because when their doorbell goes off, so does mine. Yes, I did think that it was a ghost pressing my doorbell, but we're not going to talk about that. It just turns out that the 2.4 frequency in my area is pretty congested. Now, if you do decide to connect to the 5 gigahertz connection, you will find that you will need to situate yourself a lot closer to the router. This is because the 5 gigahertz connection, though it is a lot stronger, it just does not reach anywhere near as far. So if you have your gaming setup in a permanent position right next to the router, you won't have anywhere near as much risk of interference on the 5 gigahertz network that you would on the 2.4. And there'll be a lot less congestion. Lastly, how do we go about improving our Wi-Fi if gaming over Wi-Fi is our only option. There are a couple of different ways to do this. However, today we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi boosting and home meshing. Let's start with the meshing. So as we've learned today, the closer to the connection you are, the better connection you'll have. So what if you're trying to connect via Wi-Fi to the router on the opposite end of your house? You might find that your internet speeds will suffer and you may also experience dropouts. What you want to do is go pick up a Telstra smart Wi-Fi booster and connect that to your router. Basically what the smart booster does is it spits out the same signal that your router is, but you can put it anywhere you want in your house so that you have an extra source of connection. So instead of needing to be super close to the router in the lounge room, you might even have one set up in your bedroom. So essentially, if you had one of these in your bedrooms, you could hypothetically have the same speeds that you'd have if you were sitting in the lounge room. Another way to increase your speed if nodes aren't really your thing is by picking up a Wi-Fi booster. This option essentially takes a weaker signal, amplifies it, and then allows it to be connected to. So essentially giving you a stronger and faster signal. With Wi-Fi boosters, you're also able to connect them via ethernet cable to your gaming PC or your console. This can ensure that you're getting the maximum speeds you possibly can while also decreasing latency to the lowest you possibly can. When you have a Wi-Fi boost, it can help your connection reach the other side of the house, different levels, and you can also take your gaming outside. Hey, that's an idea. 